Basketball media days rolls on the Boilermakers of Purdue. We're going to hear from the women's head coach who is brand new, Katie Geralds, replacing longtime head coach Sharon Versip and Matt Painter. His team likely will be one of the very best in the world of Big Ten men's basketball this year. But up first is the replacement for Sharon Versip after 15 years, the winningest women's coach of all time. Let's check back in with Kevin Warren. It is exciting to uh, welcome Coach Katie Geralds uh, back home to the Big Ten. As you know, she was an outstanding basketball player herself and actually was the most outstanding player right here in this arena at the 2007 Big Ten basketball tournament. So welcome to the stage, the new head coach, Katie Geralds. cool it was uh, to walk up here to that song that's uh, that's pretty special uh, and to hear welcome home um, man something I've been dreaming of since you know probably I graduated it, you know thanks for being here uh, thanks to the Big Ten I think this is a great day for you know yesterday too but a great day for women's basketball an exciting season looking forward to the Big Ten and what we have coming back you know four teams made it to the Sweet 16 we're gonna have Six, seven teams ranked in the top 25 to start the season. Um, and, you know, we're just going to do whatever we can to make Purdue proud. I'm still trying to figure out how in the world I'm following Coach Izzo and Coach Payne is behind me, but uh, just figured they didn't want anybody to go to the bathroom. So in between the breaks, so here I am. We will now open up for questions. Um, back here in the green. Hey, Katie, just as you try to put this team together, who are you looking to from a leadership standpoint to kind of help you push this thing forward? Yeah, uh, morning, MC. Um, really, the, the the three we have here with us today, uh, Cass Harden, Janae Terry, Madison Layden, um, we've named them captains, but those are the kids that have really just grabbed on to, to everything. I think we, you know, all of our all of our student athletes have done a really good job this summer, and especially here in the last two and a half weeks with the transition of, of believing and buying into to the new system. Uh, but those three are those three are our captains. Um, those three are going to lead us uh, all year long. In the back. Hi, Katie, and, Hi, and welcome back. Uh, Thanks, Steve. and I go back to Beach Grove High School, so it's been a while. You went into uh, Purdue kind of in difficult circumstances. How has your how do, has that been like a whirlwind to you? Have you caught up with all that by now? Uh, my head is above water. My feet are moving really fast underneath. I know that. Um, but you said something. It, Beach Grove High School wasn't that long ago. I'm not that old, Steve. <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> um, it, yeah, it, you know, it's it's emotionally it's been a roller coaster for everybody. Um, but, you know, I knew going in in March or a April that, you know, that the transition was going to happen. It just happened sooner than, than everybody expected. And um, I'm ready. Uh, you know, I'm ready to, to grab this thing by the horns and we're going to run with it. Additional questions for Coach? In the very far back right behind you, Dallas, in the corner. Even further back. Thank you. Hi, Coach. Bree Shackleford with WLFI Sports. Um, my question for you today is what environment are you trying to cultivate with this team? Is it something new, or what are you trying to bring with this team? Yeah, there's no, there's no secrets um, in, in playing college basketball. Uh, we want to have a team that competes every day, and we want to have a team that's hard to beat. Um, when, you're hard, when you're hard to beat, and I know fans are itching to get back into Mackey Arena, and Mackey Arena is going to be loud this year. Um, you're going you're gonna to take care of games at home. You know, you're going to win games on the road that you're supposed to win. And, 
you know, I said it before, if you're hard to beat, you might steal a game on, you know, that you're, that you're not supposed to win on paper. Um, and, and that's kind of what we want to live by. We want to compete every day, um, make sure we, com- we compete every day hard. We play basketball the right way. Basketball gods will take care of the rest. Another question, same back corner, Dallas. We have time for one more. How are the girls buying into your program so far? Uh, that, you know, they've been working their tails off for us. Um, you know, the biggest thing is just changing that culture. Uh, you know, in, in the 90s, early 2000s, uh, you know, Purdue was on top of the Big Ten. Um, and, you know, I, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to, to leave my alma mater. But with, with that opportunity comes, you know, a huge responsibility. And I, I take a lot of pride in, in making sure we, we continue to, to work our tails off to make Purdue proud again. Any further questions? Right here in the red. Hey, Coach. Uh, Nick Jenkins in South Central on the End News Network. You got to play against IU. Now you get to coach against them. How excited are you for that opportunity? <laughs> yeah, the, it doesn't matter what year it is. That, uh, that IU-Purdue rivalry is something that's going to live on. Um, you know, I'm excited to, to go down to Assembly Hall, a little different for me now, you know, a little less control as a coach than as a player, but uh, excited to have an opportunity, you know, great team, you know, Coach Morton has done an incredible job of building that team up, um, and, you know, they got a squad back, so, um, you know, we're chasing them, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Coach. Good luck this season. Thank you.